Hey everybody, let's talk about structs. When you define a struct in C, you have your struct, it has a bunch of members to it, a bunch of different data elements. How are those gonna be laid out? You'd naturally just think you'd have one after the other. I don't wanna use any more memory than I have to, so it just makes sense. Why not just stick them all together? If we look at an example, I'm doing just that. I basically have a struct, uh, you know, recording some information about a person maybe, and we're gonna print out the size of the struct. Now, if you add up the elements of the struct, you would expect to see the size be 66 bytes. But the code that my compiler produced says it's 68 bytes. Question is why? So the compiler inserts some padding into my struct. This wastes a little bit of space, but it actually makes code that's faster to run. On the other hand, if I don't like this, and I really want things all to get packed together really tight, I can stick this pragma pack one at the top. And all I'm saying is I want all structs to be packed on one byte boundaries. Okay, that means basically no space, no padding, just cram it all together, pack it all together. And if I rerun my code, now you see that the size of that struct really is 66 bytes. So that basically took care of that problem, if it was a problem. Most of the time, it's not actually a problem. Memory's pretty cheap. And so most of the time, just let the compiler do what the compiler wants to do. Now, if I go through the code and I print out all of the elements, the addresses of the elements here, I will stick new lines in there to make sure we can actually read the output. And now if you, if you look at the actual addresses here, you can see where the padding occurs. And it's basically around these one byte elements, these eight bit integers. It just sticks an extra byte in there to pad so that everything is on a even byte boundary. And why is this an issue? Well, usually it's not. Most of the time, you really don't care about this. It's, it's opaque, you just don't see it. Sometimes you care about every last little bit of memory in your program, and in that case, it might matter to you. The time when this matters most is usually when people are taking data that's in a struct and copying it into some other block of memory. Maybe it's a network packet and that packet may have a specific size. And sometimes you expect your struct to be a certain number of bytes and then you copy it over and you're like, wait, what's going on? Things aren't lining up. They aren't showing up where I expect. And it's because this padding is being inserted by the compiler. And you can fix this by using that pragma. But of course, if you're dealing with network packets, that's not the safest way to go. Network packets can run into a lot of other issues like byte order disagreement. So actually, if you're copying data over into network packets, I recommend that you marshal the packets yourself, that you actually construct them element by element. We'll talk about that in a future video, but I just wanna point this out. If you have a struct and things aren't showing up where you expect them to show up, the problem might be compiler inserted padding. So I hope this is interesting and helpful and until next time, I'll see you later.